As far as Owatonna's seniors, a a nice group of seniors, I believe five on that roster. Uh, Tell me about the guys. Uh, It's been a fun group. It really has. There are five guys that, uh, as I talked to them after our game got done against Lakeville South, it's it's just been fun watching them grow up in our system. I mean, all five, I remember coming to camp when they were fourth, fifth, and sixth graders and and all the way through. And so... um, you know, we'll start with our captains. Uh, you know, Alex Emanuelson has been a three-year letter winner, was uh, honorable mention all conference the last two years. Um, been on varsity since the sophomore year and has done a lot of good things for our guys, our team, our program. Been a, a great uh, leader for us, uh, one of our leading scorers the last couple of years. And uh, just a great young man and uh, has got a, a great future in front of him, whatever he, he chooses to do, uh, college route, job route, when he gets down the road. So um, it's been great having uh, Alex. And as I was talking to his, uh, his dad the other night at the girls' game, you know, we've had Emmanuel send about the last eight years in a row between uh, Ryan, his older brother, and, and Alex now. And so it'll be weird not having uh, some sort of Emmanuel sin in our program uh, just for the sheer amount of time that uh, that family's been uh, a part of our, our basketball team. Um, Eli Havelka, our other captain, uh, again, been uh, been with us for uh, three years now, and, and on varsity at least, and uh, had a good year as well. Um, and he... Uh, was our leading rebounder in the year, one of our third or fourth leading scorer. Uh, but more than anything, I love the uh, passion and energy that Eli brought to the game. Uh, I just loved his uh, positivity. Uh, he was great in practice, great in the games with uh, always um, keeping the guys upbeat, even when things weren't going our way. Uh, he was very good about just, uh, like I said, keeping things positive and trying to get guys guys pumped back up and into the game. So um, just love the emotion that Eli played with and, like I said, his positivity. Um, Jacob Borchert, Jacob, yeah, another guy that's been with us for the last couple of years, two or three years, uh, was in the rotation last year, started some games, was in the rotation again this year, started some games, and uh, just brought a, a good sense, a good uh, um, athleticism uh, to our team. You know, he's one of the better athletes on the football team, playing a wide receiver. Uh, for us on the basketball court, uh, same deal, was fast, could jump, was strong. I uh, had some real nice games, and, you know, again, that stood out for me from him was uh, our Christmas tournament. We had him guard uh, Duluth East best player. We had uh, 35 the night before. I think Jake held him in the 4-6. Um, a great kid, great family, and uh, I was really proud of Jake's, uh, Jake's season as well. Um, uh, Nick Reikley. Nick... Um, uh, had a great senior year. You know, this was his first year that he saw varsity minutes. Uh, started of the year um, as a starter. Uh, I want to say started the first eight, ten games. Uh, was definitely one of our top defensive, if not the best defensive player on our team. He uh, a lot of times guarded and shut down the other team's top guard, uh, especially as a point guard or shooting guard. Um, just kind of split time with Jay at the point, uh, Jay Sullivan, and uh, went through a stretch where. Uh, he didn't play a whole lot as we were in the middle of the season really trying to tinker with our lineup. Uh, Nick kept a great attitude, worked hard still, and ended up uh, playing again the last five to seven games, started our playoff game against Lakeville South. And I just love Nick's, uh, again, I'll go back to just a great attitude, his work ethic, um, always putting the team first uh, and understanding uh, that sometimes as coaches we make some tough decisions. And uh, he was just awesome. He really was. I don't know. There's many guys on the team that could have gone in and out of the lineup and in and out of minutes uh, with the positive way that he did. So he was just an awesome young man and how he handled that situation and uh, super proud of the year he had. And then finally, Mason Tyne. You know, Mason probably had the best year of all the seniors. Um, really, I thought, had a... a uh, you know, a coming out party, really. You know, he was in the rotation last year, had a decent year. Uh, this year, came on, was our leading scorer, uh, one of our top rebounders, uh, was uh, voted second team all conference uh, in the Big Nine, which is uh, saying a lot when you consider how many talented players there were this year. It was really kind of our go to guy, and, and really, you know, several games in the season, we realized that. You know, this is a confidence he was playing with. We really adjusted a lot of what we do to try to make sure we got the ball inside and uh, gave him uh, more opportunities just because he was our best offensive player throughout the course of the year. And, um, you know, led us in field goal percentage, led us, led us in three point field goal percentage, and uh, really stepped up his game uh, majorly as, uh, as a senior this year and uh, was uh, definitely a piece to us having success and winning some games. And I know uh, is still considering uh, possibly pursuing. Uh, uh, playing in college, and I mean, he hasn't quite decided yet, but I would love to see him pursue that route if it's a goal of his. So, great senior by Mason Tyne, and um, just overall a fantastic group of seniors, and uh, 
you know, we'll miss them next year. Future look bright, though? It does. I, I, uh, there's no doubt we've got some very talented young kids. Uh, both our sophomore class and our junior class have got a nice mix of uh, players. You know, not a lot, a whole lot of size, um, but when it comes to speed and quickness and athleticism, uh, we'll be as uh, we'll be as good a next couple of years in that regards uh, as we've had in quite a while. When we talk about, like I said, depth and speed and uh, some very talented perimeter players, so. Uh, you know, super excited about what we've got coming back. Josh Williams, Owatonna High School boys basketball coach. Thank you very much for the time, Josh. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Coach's show interview on KRFO Radio.